Welcome back, and thank you for checking out this latest video brought to you by RealParse. Today, you will learn the difference between function block diagrams and ladder logic, specifically what they are and when do we use them when programming PLCs. Before we get started on today's video, if you love our videos, be sure to click the like button below. Then make sure to click subscribe and the little bell to receive notifications of new RealPars videos. This way, you never miss another one. If you have found this video, chances are you have heard of either ladder logic, function block diagrams, or both. Ladder logic has been the industry standard for decades of PLC programming. In case you missed it, check out the real parse video, What is Ladder Logic? Most PLC manufacturers around the world still support ladder logic programming. However, some have been moving towards function block programming. Let's take a look at some of the similarities and differences. Ladder logic is pretty well the universal programming language of PLCs. As I mentioned earlier, it has been around for decades and is pretty well understood by most technicians and engineers alike. It is named ladder logic because it quite literally looks like a ladder. The vertical lines are referred to as the power rails. The horizontal lines that our programming bits are located on are rungs, just like on a ladder. It is read from top to bottom and left to right. Function block diagrams can essentially convert several lines of ladder logic into boxes. If you missed it, check out the RealParse video, What is a Control or Function Block? In the middle of the function block will be a symbol or text labeling the function block. This will describe the actual function of the block. There can be one or several inputs and an output for each function block. Those function blocks can be inputs to other function blocks as well. Just like ladder logic, function block diagrams should be read left to right, top to bottom. In a sense, this format can make it easier for a technician troubleshooting a machine to see what is happening to the machine. In the real parse video, what is a control or function block, we describe some basic timer delays. Now, we will discuss a few basic logic function blocks and their ladder counterparts. Let's look at an AND function block first. If you are unfamiliar with AND logic, it is actually pretty simple. Basically, you need at least two inputs energized to turn on or energize its output. I like to think of it as you need this input and that input to turn on the output. In ladder logic, it would look like a series circuit like this. In a function block diagram, the entire rung is replaced by this box or block. Many industrial machines use AND logic. A large metal press brake uses AND logic for its controls. The operator must push two buttons at the same time. This energizes the output of the AND logic. This allows the cylinders to be activated and bend the metal. Another common function used is the OR logic function block. This is like the opposite of AND logic. With an OR function block, you would energize this input or that input to energize the output. In ladder logic, it would look like a parallel circuit like this. Machines may use OR logic when there are more than one set of controls to operate the machine. Conveyor belts can utilize this programming. They will commonly have the start and stop buttons located near the conveyor. They can also have a start and stop button at another location in order to start the conveyor remotely. 
These were just two simple examples of function block programming compared with ladder logic. A complete function block diagram will utilize many more function blocks and possibly even combinations of several blocks. I first encountered function block diagrams working in a tire manufacturing plant about 12 years ago. Once I became familiar with the style, I found it easier to follow and troubleshoot the machines. Hopefully you will too. Let's take a look at what we now know. Ladder logic has been around for a long time and has been the universal programming language for PLCs. Function block programming has been steadily gaining popularity in the PLC industry over the past decade or so. Several manufacturers offer both programming options in their PLCs. Essentially, a single function block can take the place of an entire line of ladder logic. These blocks can be strung together to complete an entire program. Like ladder logic, function block diagrams are read left to right, top to bottom. We compared AND and OR logic function blocks with their ladder logic counterpart. Hopefully, you now have a firm grasp of their similarities and differences. I truly hope this video helped you understand the differences between ladder logic and function block diagrams. Be sure to hit the like button and turn on notifications if you enjoy our videos. Thanks again for checking out this video. Check back soon for more RealPars videos. Want to learn PLC programming in an easy to understand format and take your career to the next level? Head on over to realpars.com.